Well, it's really important for a leader from New Zealand uh, because you're very isolated from the rest of the world and flying is the way in which we connect with the rest of the world. So for us, it means a lot economically, it means a lot socially, uh, and that's really important to our country and for me as a leader. I don't think the airline industry has really moved on the diversity and inclusiveness agenda over the last 12 months, three years, I would argue. And I think we're, we're talking about it a lot more, uh, but a lot of that's lip service, and we've actually got to turn that lip service into real action. And uh, I think there's a commitment coming out of here that people will go home and actually think about that more, more, more fully. But we can't show up here in another 12 months and nothing's fundamentally changed. There's a lot of practical steps that airline CEOs really need to get really very real about very, very quickly. I think there's some things they can do. First and foremost, form a women's network. Secondarily, set some real targets with teeth. Make sure you've got really good talent and professional management development programs in place. Uh, and then make sure that you're also doing things like all roles can flex. You know, how do you look at your parental leave policies? Just some basic things that actually could get us moving into a different place in 12 months' time. Our technology and digital advancement is absolutely critical for the aviation industry. We've built a lot of our uh, systems and how we talk to each other and connect customers around the world over old systems and processes that have been around for 50, 70 years. So embracing new technology around bag tracking and one identity is absolutely critical to make it much more seamless going forward. So uh, technology will revolutionise our industry as it has many others and it's a really great thing to improve customer experience, simplify our operations and ultimately commercialise our business.